Hi everyone. In this video we'll be looking at how to make a pop-up with the Off Canvas Builder. The Off Canvas Builder allows you to create a variety of pop-ups and sliding bars in Avada. If you're unfamiliar with it, check out our How to Use the Off Canvas Builder documentation linked below. Also make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. I've imported the Avada restaurant pre-built site here, and I'm going to create a pop-up to remind users of the takeout options using the Off Canvas Builder. I'll get started by heading to the Off Canvas page, accessed from the sidebar menu or the Avada dashboard menu. I'll give my new Off Canvas a name. I will just call it Takeout. And then I can click on Create New Off Canvas or just hit the Enter key. I'll also head to Avada Live as my preferred builder. OK, so now I'm ready to start building. If I click on Avada Studio, there are several pop-ups I could use as a starting point for the pop-up design, but for this video I will build one from scratch. So I'll cancel out of this and add a new 1-1 container and column. In the Off Canvas options, I will head straight to the General tab, and here we can see that pop-up is the default Off Canvas type. With the next option, Width, note that there is a responsive icon here, and this means you can set different widths for different screen sizes. For this example, I think I will set a width of 1000 pixels. But then I'll head to medium screens and set the width at 80%, and go to small screens and set it to 90%. For the height, I will leave it on fit with content. The other options here are full height and custom height, so you also have full control over the height of the pop-up. The next two options control the horizontal and vertical position of the pop-up, and the default is to center it on the page. This suits me fine, but I can also see these two options are also responsive, and so if you wanted to, you could set the positions of the pop-up independently on different screen sizes. Here, I think I will leave it centered on all screens. I'll leave my content layout as a column, and I'll also leave the content alignment as flex start, so my pop-up content aligns to the top. I don't think I'll need a CSS class here, so let's head to the next tab, Design. You can make a lot of changes here from background color and image, to borders and border radius, etc. I'm happy with the default white background color, and I don't want a background image, but I might just add a small border radius of 5 pixels all around to the pop-up, and maybe add a border as well. I'll also make the border width 5 pixels all around, and make the border color the gold color from the logo. OK, let's move on to the next tab, Overlay. Again, the defaults are pretty much what I want, but you can disable this completely or customize what it looks like and how it behaves. I think the close button here looks pretty good, and looking at the options in the close button tab, again, I think they're suitable, but you can customize the close button here in lots of ways, from the positioning to its color, size, and the icon you use. Perhaps I'll just increase the icon size a little, to 20 pixels. Animation is the next tab here, and I don't think I want any animations for this example as I'm going to set the pop-up to trigger by exit intent, so I want it to show up immediately. OK, let's head to the next tab, and that's Conditions. Let's enable these, and by default the pop-up is to be displayed across the entire site. This pop-up is going to be a reminder that we have takeout products, so perhaps I don't want it to show on all pages. If users are looking at the takeout products, I don't suppose they need a reminder. I will go into Manage Conditions, and on Pages I will include all pages, but exclude the Our Takeout menu page. And I'll also include all posts and all portfolios. I won't include the products though, as these are the actual takeout items. This way, the pop-up won't show if the user is on any of the takeout related pages. I'll just close this now and move to the next tab, Triggers. And here I'm going to enable Exit Intent. The next tab, Rules, gives you a lot of advanced flexibility with your Off Canvas. These are very powerful and can be used in many ways, but for my example, I don't think I need to set any of them. I don't need any custom CSS either, so I'll start to make the pop-up content. OK, let's start by checking the container options. It all looks OK here, but I'll just head to the Design tab and check the default padding. The pages on this side are using the 100% template, and there's some default padding here for that. So I'll set the padding here to be 0 pixels all around. I'll also edit the column and set some padding for that. I'll set 60 pixels all around. I'll also just set that default bottom margin to 0 pixels. OK, that should be good. 
Let's start with the title element here. I'll just add my text. Next, I will head to the Design tab and set the alignment to center and adjust the font size to 36 pixels. I'll now add another element and for this pop-up, I'm going to add the Woo product carousel element. I'll just change the picture size to auto and change the number of products to 12. Not all the products, but enough to entice. For the order buy options, I'll change this to popularity so the most popular products are shown first. I'll leave the carousel layout as title on rollover and I think I will set the maximum columns back to four so the images are a bit bigger. I might just set show categories and show buttons to no as well. Yeah, I think that looks good. Let's add one more element to this pop-up, a button. I'll link it to the Our Takeout menu page and set the button text to see our full range of takeout dishes. I'll align this to the center and that's about it. I'm happy with the style and the size here. Okay, that's my pop-up. Let's save this off canvas. And now return to the front end to have a look. I'll just refresh the page. If I show intent to leave the site, our pop-up appears. We have a function in Carousel and a link directly to the takeout page. Fantastic. I think we could pull a few more customers with this. If I click the button, we come to the takeout page. And note that here the pop-up does not appear. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. That's how to make a pop-up using the Off Canvas Builder. There are lots of possibilities with pop-ups and with this builder, so make sure you experiment with it. And let us know in the comments what sort of pop-ups you have made. Okay, this concludes our video on how to make a pop-up with the Off Canvas Builder. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.